Olive oil and avocado oil are not inflammatory. So it's not like it's a health food, but if you're gonna compare that to sunflower oil, safflower oil, which actually are predominantly omega-6, I would say those are not inflammatory, but not healthy. There's so much loaded in their question that I have to peel. All right, first of all, let me just peel this banana, okay? Uh, so first of all, olive oil and avocado oil are not inflammatory. It's really important thing. So, so when you're looking at the inflammatory process, I consider something inflammatory if by consuming it, you accelerate that inflammatory pathway. So when I showed that pathway of how you create the pro-inflammatory immune cells with the arachidonic acid pathway, the omega-6 pathway, olive oil and avocado oil are actually largely omega-9s. So when I classify something in a category, it's by whatever the predominant component is. So while there's some omega-3, some omega-6, it's predominantly omega-9, which is not involved in the inflammatory pathway at all. Um, so if you were going to use an oil in cooking, that would be one that's not inflammatory. Now there is data to suggest that those kind of oils can still cause problems with um, your blood vessels. So it's not like it's a health food, but if you're gonna compare that to sunflower oil, safflower oil, which actually are predominantly omega-6, Six, I would say those are not inflammatory, but not healthy. I also take issue with if you have to use oil. There's, there's no have to. Nobody's like, you know, saying, you know, you must do this. You have choices, but if you're going to use one anyway and you're just not going to listen to it, then yeah, uh, uh, olive oil or avocado oil would be a better choice. What I recommend is that you put it in a spray bottle. I actually have one because I have one pan that just, I love that pan, but it tends to stick. So I have a little spray bottle. I'll spray a little bit at the bottom to make it non-stick, but not soaking in it, right? Um, or they have those little sprayers that you can buy where, you know, you look at the back and it's a zero calories from fat, right? That if you're going to use an oil, stick to one of those two. Don't use the coconut oil, don't use the other oils. Um, but whenever you can, take the oil out of the recipe, lower the heat of your pan, uh, and you can still cook without those oils.